In this lesson, we're going to talk about the angles of triangles. We're going to start off first by talking about the interior angles of a triangle, and then at the end, we're going to talk about exterior angles of triangles. To start, we're going to look at the triangle angle sum theorem, which is talking about the three interior angles, angle A, angle B, and angle C. If we were to measure those three angles and then add them together, you're going to find out that it's going to equal 180 degrees. If you move the triangles so the measures change, that sum of those three angles is still going to equal 180 degrees. And this is the triangle angle sum theorem that says take the three angles, measures, add them together, and it will always equal 180 degrees. If you want to look at it in terms of words, that's pretty much what I just said. <coughs> I like the equation because we can always use this to help us solve uh, problems dealing with angles in a, uh, angles in a triangle. Now this next one, the third angle theorem, this is just a, sometimes referred to as a corollary of the last theorem. Uh, what it's saying, I, I'm kind of this uh, picture person and uh, color person, so I, I've reworded the, equation, or the theorem to say if the green is true, then the red is true. Now notice there's no red in my picture yet. But what the green is telling us is we have two triangles, and we know these two angles in the different triangles are congruent, and we know these two angles in the triangles are congruent. So if we know that, we're going to be able to figure out something about these two angles. Well, what's going to happen is we are going to know that this angle from the triangle on the left is going to be congruent to this angle on the triangle on the right. And that's the third angle theorem. So when you look at the words, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of a, of a second triangle, and that's what I was talking about earlier, these two angles matching up and being congruent with these two angles, then the third angles of the triangles are congruent this being the third angle of the one triangle, this being the third angle of the second triangle. We know that they have to be congruent. Again, here's another corollary off of the triangle angle sum theorem. Um, and I, I uh, kind of worded this as a question, but what are we going to know about angle one and angle two? We already know that this is a right angle. All three of these have to add up to 180 degrees. Take out this 90 degree angle, and all we're left with is 90 degrees which tells us that these two angles here are going to have to add up to or 90 degrees. Now remember, if we have two angles that have a sum of 90 degrees, they're complementary. This theorem tells us that the acute angles in a right triangle will always be complementary. You don't necessarily know the, the actual measure of the two, but together you're going to know it's going to equal 90 degrees. Now we're going to look at a little vocab. I didn't give you the, the wordy definition, but I, I look more at pictures. Now these two angles are called remote interior angles of this exterior angle. And I'm going to start with the exterior angle. An exterior angle is created by extending one of the sides of the triangle. So I've extended the bottom side of the triangle, and then this angle that's on the outside now of the triangle, right here, is referred to as the exterior angle. To find your remote interior angles, I like to think of go to the other side of the triangle. The two angles that are on the other side, those are the remote interior angles. Another way to think of it is find the adjacent angle to the exterior angle, which would be right here. This is not a remote interior angle. It's the other two angles in the triangle, which means if this one's not, these are the other two. Those make the remote interior angles. I'm going to scroll down here to hopefully eliminate some confusion because sometimes people will think that this what I have starred as the red angle here is an exterior angle because it's on the outside of the triangle however an exterior angle has to have one of its sides be a side of the triangle and when I look at the sides of this red angle neither one of these sides are sides of the triangle but when I go to the purple star notice here side of the triangle and then remember, the other side is an extension of one side of the triangle. So I've extended this side starting here, and it goes down. Therefore, the purple starred angle is an exterior angle of the triangle. The red one is not. If I come down again to this one, be careful on this one because now this starred angle has a side of the triangle as one of its sides. But notice the other side of the starred angle is not an extension of one of the sides. Therefore, this is not an exterior angle. Be careful on that because we're going to talk about 
exterior angles and then also the remote interior angles to that exterior angle in this next one. Now in this one, referred to as the exterior angle theorem, we're looking at the relationship between the two remote interior angles to that exterior angle. And what this theorem tells us that we looked at in the computer lab is if I take the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 2, in other words I add the remote interior angle measures together, it's always going to equal the measure of the exterior angle. My equation is saying that and then the words are also saying that as well. So that's the exterior angle theorem. Remember that. Add the remote interior angle measures together and it will always equal the measure of the exterior angle. And that's going to conclude our lesson on the interior angles of a triangle and the exterior angle of a triangle.